I'm Skyla Hong, and today we're covering new research on superconductivity. We'll give the camera over to our own Skyla Hong, Class REU student, reporting on the scene. Thank you, Skyla. This is a superconducting radio frequency cavity, or SRF cavity for short. It looks really cool, but what is it, and what is it used for? Right now I'm in the basement of Newman Lab, a physics laboratory on the campus of Cornell University. My research program is focused on making particles go faster in particle accelerators, and one way we do this is by improving SRF cavities. The way SRF cavities work is this. You generate an electric field in a row of cavities where the direction goes back and forth. When a particle passes through, it rides the electric field and goes faster. There are not a lot of materials that create this effect, but one material that can be very effective is called niobium through tin, a mixture of the metals niobium and tin. This material, however, is quite hard to make because it's very brittle and can be uneven, which could cause the cavity to heat up and stop working properly. So, my group has been investigating a method to create this material called chemical vapor deposition, or CVD. In this process, you pump two gases, niobium chloride and tin chloride, into a furnace with a cavity. The gases then react and form a layer of niobium free tin on the surface. This machine is used to create the chemical vapor deposition process. It is very complex and requires a lot of controls. So, during my time here, I helped with coding a program that could help bring all these controls in one place. And I also did some calculations on the rate of growth of the film on the surface of the cavity. That is all, and back to you, Skyla. Thank you, Skyla. I would like to thank my mentors Gabriel and Liana, as well as Cornell University, for this research experience. I would also like to thank the National Science Foundation for funding this REU.